lucky charms. Welcome to my channel, where art and craft pave the way for love, peace, and positivity. Emotions, don't we just love them? And sometimes, well, not so much. We deal with them every day, and they have a big impact on our lives. Being an INFP, I feel like I'm pretty much controlled by emotions, which can be a bit annoying. But I'm on a journey to self-redemption and working on finding a balance with my emotions. Now, to make sure my daughter doesn't have to go through this never-ending battle with emotions, I want to educate her and help her better understand and manage her feelings. It's such an important skill that can help her navigate life's challenges with resilience and empathy. So, here's what I'm up to. I want to create a toy set for her, where different emotions are little characters, and they all live together on a farm or in a forest, representing ourselves. For each emotion, the reason. It show up is because it has a psychological need that needs to be fulfilled. We need to learn to understand and address those needs rather than just reacting to the emotions. That way, they can all live together happily in peace and harmony. This project will be divided into two videos. For this one, I'm going to create the character first. I've chosen eight emotions. So first we have happy. Here I'm using the air dry modeling clay gotten from local winners. Okay, so for happy, I want her to know when we feel happy, it's important to think about why we're happy. It might be because we worked hard to achieve a goal. Or because we were sincere and earned someone's trust. To keep feeling happy, we should make our good behaviors and qualities even stronger. This way, we can have the power to stay happy. And when we see someone else being happy, we should try to understand why they're happy too. We should share in their joy and say nice things about the good qualities they showed in what made them happy. This will make us even happier ourselves. The most important thing to remember is that our success and happiness don't just come from the talent we're born with; they come from the effort we put in. So don't be afraid to try hard, because through effort, we can become even more happier and more successful. Sometimes when we get really mad, it's like our body's way of trying to protect us. But it can also make us want to yell or be mean to others. When you feel angry, it's because you expected something to happen a certain way, but it didn't. Instead of getting all angry and mean, it's better to think about how we can make things better so they match what we hope for. And when someone else is angry, it's like they are feeling the same way. They wanted something to go right, but it didn't, and it makes them mad. We can help them by understanding why they're upset, and maybe coming up with way to fix the problem together.
sad. When we feel sad, it's important to figure out why we're feeling that way. Sometimes we just need some empathy, help, support, or someone just to be there with us. Instead of keeping our sadness to ourselves, it's better to talk to someone who loves us and let them give us a hug to make us feel better. And when someone else is sad, we should try to understand why they're feeling that way too. We can be with them, listen to them, give them a hug, and tell them we will support and help them. Doing this can make their gloomy world feel warmer and brighter. Fearful. Feeling scared is our way of protecting ourselves from danger. First, we need to understand why we're scared. It could be because we feel unsafe, worry about not doing well, or sometimes fear others making fun of us. Instead of hiding from things, we can prepare ourselves and practice to make fewer mistakes. We should also learn what is genuinely dangerous and avoid it to stay safe. When we see someone else is scared, we should know that it is normal and okay to want to protect themselves. We can let them know we'll support them and help them find their courage. Proud. Feeling proud is good, but be careful. It will be problematic when it is excessive or leads to arrogance, superiority, or lack of empathy for others. We want others to like and respect us, but first we should appreciate and respect us ourselves. And when someone else is overly proud, they might show off or act like they are better than others. We should understand that they might be lack of confidence or even feeling low. We just need to sincerely give them recognition, say good things about their positive qualities, and help them build their confidence. We can give them real acceptance and respect.
jealous. Jealousy happens when we really want something we don't have, but others do. But instead of feeling bad about it, we can learn from them, changing ourselves, and work hard to get what we want. When we see someone else being jealous, we can help them set their goals and support them in taking actions. This way, we can turn jealousy into strength. Surprising. Surprising is about avoiding conflict to stay safe. When we feel suppressed, it's because we want to avoid fighting to protect ourselves. At that time, we should ask ourselves if not speaking up is really the best way to protect ourselves, or if there's a better solution. When we see someone else suppressing their feelings, we can ask them questions to help them find a better solution. Lastly, we have complaining. Complaining is a way to be heard, understood, and cared for. When we feel like complaining, we should try to understand why we're doing it. Instead of complaining about what's wrong, we can tell the other person what we really need. We can let them know how we truly feel. When someone else complains to us, we should see that it is because they have some needs in their heart. So we should listen, understand, and pay attention to what they need.
there are many more emotions that live within us, but these are the eight I picked for now. The characters turn out super cute. I might even put a rising code on them in the future to make them more durable. I hope this video will be helpful to you. It's a journey for all of us to learn and deal with our emotions. Please let me know how you feel and if I missed something. That's it for part one of this project. Please stay tuned for part two. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye guys!